somebody where you just kind of assume. Good morning. It's me and my wipe off board of resistance. So there's a skill in my content that I'm sharing on Facebook page, recognizing resistance. So resistance is probably one of those words where somebody, where you just kind of assume you know what it means. So this is thinking about resistance in your own personal growth and development. So resistance exists, it's necessary, but when it goes unexamined, it can trigger the stress response. And when you're living from um, your stress response as like baseline, you're stuck and spinning often in the same results. And without realizing it, life can be like defeating and limiting because you'll be in a position where you're just pushing against versus being pulled towards um, more of what you want. So um, I have two examples this week. And then basically the takeaway is just to start being a noticer of the stress response. So one example was really clear to me and it was with a student and he was working on this, um, these math activities. And the math activities were part of a, a computer program and he had to get a certain percent um, to move on. And if you didn't get that percent, you had to start over, you had to go back to the beginning. So it's a big source of frustration. But just assume that you had, you had an assignment and you had to do one through 10 and get eight out of 10 right, and then you can move on to the next thing. So in your mind, you might you want, might want that to go really quick. I'm gonna do one through 10, I'm gonna get eight right, I'm gonna move on to the next thing. So then you're doing the activity, and the activity is based on problem solving. So the activity is not as simple as something like eight times four, something you can memorize, something you can <clears throat> know the results of right away. The activity is rooted in problem solving. So by nature of problem solving, one has to slow down to move towards the problem. And like in Stephen Covey's seven habits, being proactive is moving towards the discomfort of a problem versus being reactive is um, reacting to that sense of discomfort um, that shows up when something's difficult. Or when something in this case is undesirable. You don't wanna spend all this time on this activity. And so the thing that I noticed was that when this student would get it wrong, it would show the steps of how to um, of how to do the problem. So the skill would be to slow down and go over those steps one by one to kind of teach yourself uh, the pattern, to teach yourself the formula, to check your thinking. So most of us are capable of doing that but what happens is, is we have to slow down to do it. And if our mind wants to get the activity done right away, um, to having to slow down is resistance. So let me give you another example. If, so if the plane is flying at a certain um, like altitude where it's cruising, and then once it goes down to land, it has to meet resistance in order to land. So there's a lot of ways you can use that analogy, but when your mind feels clear, it feels good. So a clear mind is kind of like that plane cruising, but then all of a sudden, when you go to land, when you have to take the, when you have to create a result, you meet that resistance. And if we don't understand what's happening, and if we're not the noticer of those uncomfortable feelings of resistance, 
We can react to resistance with our stress response, fight, flight, freeze, faint. Faint is like playing dead, I don't feel good. Freeze, shutting down. Obviously flight, avoiding, I gotta get out of here. Fight, getting angry. So when we start to notice resistance, we can make choice around it. We can also recognize that moving towards that resistance is where growth is gonna happen. And like in schools, and I'm sure in homes too, we want that younger person to master that skill where it's a skill that all persons um, experience on a day-to-day -day basis. When it comes to change, when it comes to different ideas, when it comes to um, unexpected, it, it happens every day. So recognizing resistance is a really useful skill. And as a way to grow it is just to notice it. Notice the tight belly. Notice the um, maybe faster moving heart. Notice um, maybe fast thoughts. And what happens a lot, and maybe it's just those of us that do have that attention deficit, is that when somebody asks you a question that you know the answer to, and they say, well, how do you do this? You know the answer, but to slow down and tell them the answer is like overwhelming, like saturating. I don't wanna slow down and tell you step by step. But that's where the growth is, and that's where the noticing resistance to regulate your, your response, and then to do the next thing for uh, results that build on themselves, sustainable growth results. So there's an activity you could do um, with kids to notice your own, um, how difficult it is to slow down and give step-by-step -step directions and how difficult it is to slow down and listen. There's an activity where you, um, let's say the kids have whiteboards and um, so one kid draws a design. So one kid draws a shape, a line, and a, um, I guess a heart is a shape, but you could say like an image or something. And so you're gonna take that design. The other kid has a whiteboard and is facing away from you. So that you're trying to tell that partner about your drawing, about the size of your circle, where it's located, how long, how thick your line is, the heart, the size. And so it's a great skill for adults to recognize that it is an art to give direction directions in a way that paint a picture in another person's mind. So building the visual working memory and it's also a um, skill to develop, to listen in a way um, to really hear. So big ideas, uh, enjoy.